Hello everybody, welcome back to week three of Vlogmas. Where is the snow? <laughs> Gets it once, once at all December. I am sore, I am very, very sore. I have been moving for days. We spent Sunday clearing everything out of the store. It is all officially cleared out. Here's a little clip of me leaving on my final moment of my final goodbye and it was not an emotional thing at all I was not emotional I was so relieved so I'm glad that I can say that so nobody feels bad for me nothing worse for me than making think than thinking that people feel bad for me don't um <laughs> I've turned upstairs into a office slash beauty room slash filming space slash makeup storage. Yeah, it looks awesome. I've really busted my butt. I've worked morning until late into the night. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning because I just knew there was so much to do and I couldn't sleep. So I figured let's just get to it. So I've been organizing and cleaning and going through. I think what I really need to do though is like go through stuff and throw a lot away. I'm going to give you guys a tour and I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can. I'm talking so fast. I'm going to crash so hard. I thought we would open up our advent calendar now. We've got the yellow one today. I've been enjoying doing this and the, what did I do last week? Loved the eye mask. Like loved that eye mask and they're like three dollars. I need to be going back to Sephora and stocking up. I have to go to Sephora actually so probably I might do that today. I have to return the Armani foundation. I don't want to deter anybody from buying it, but I didn't like it. I, it's just for the price, I need more coverage. And I should have known by the look of it that it was like a sheer glow, but it really didn't do anything. And it actually made my skin look really terrible. The first day it looked great. And then like try two, three, and four, I was like, no, not for me. But you know what? It's for some people. I've seen people apply it on their face and it's looked gorgeous. So I know that it's not the foundation's fault per se. It's just not what I'm looking for for me. I hate returning stuff like this. So anyway, got to go to Sephora. We'll be getting more eye masks and I've got myself a little chappy stick. There she goes. Uh, excuse the tanner on my palm. I guess I did it properly. Wipe it off last night. I just freshly tanned and went to sleep. Mm. A hint of pink, but nothing really crazy. I like. You know, I, I can never have too many chapsticks, especially with a little bit of a tint to it. So that's a good one. I'm going to, uh, I'll get some use out of that. Oh, I was like, there's nothing in it. <laughs> Another mask. But this one's a lip mask in cherry. Oh, I really like that. I love cherry looking things because it takes me back to cherry chapstick days. So good. Yay. I've got a lip mask and a lip balm and my lips will be nice and hydrated. Good time of year to be getting stuff like this. This would make a great stocking stuffer. The eye masks and this would make such great stocking stuffers because they're only three bucks. You can grab a few, stick them in someone's stocking and it just makes such a good gift. That is a good one. I'm going to show you what I did and I'm going to try to keep this short because I have a feeling that this is going to be a long video this week. I don't know why. I just feel like it's because I've got a lot to do. So I got the new wallpaper, which I put in last night. I'm upset. And then I've got the fireplace with a faux candle. And as you can see, the pampas grass has made its way in and looks beautiful against the wallpaper. Look at my baby's dope. Uh, over here. I'll show you on the other side, but we have moved the entire Paper Dolls Boutique store into the attic, and here it is. Now, this is going to be more organized than this. I ran out of hangers. I'm always out of hangers, so I need to get more so I can get the stuff out of these hampers and hang them up, but it's basically pants, dresses, and shirts. Here we have soaps, sage, makeup, and then on this shelf, we have all of my West Coast Willow skincare candles and then shipping and packing stuff down there. So yeah, and then I just thought for the sake of 
nostalgia. I mean, I bought this open sign before I even knew I was opening a store. I got the open sign for when I staged a thrift store up here. So we're basically just taking a step back and doing that again. But now we have a sign. I love this piece of furniture so much I could not see it go. I just love it. And now I have somewhere to put. Aha! This is the cozy cabinet because we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got gym shorts and pants and gym tops, and it's all labeled. You know what I'm saying? The poof is back! Remember when I redid up here and I called it the lady cave? Well, I took the poof to the store and it's just not felt the same. So it's so nice to see my poof back. Unfortunately, we've had a casualty, so we will have to fix that. But yeah, this is all the same. So now we've got the big mirror back, the full length. I hung some shelves. Those had all my hats at the store on them. But now we have shelves for purses. And this is the part I'm most excited about. Can you hear my excitement? I love it so much. Okay, so for the longest time, I had rolling racks along here. And the whole, how long have we lived here now? Like four years, five years? The whole time, my clothing have been on plastic rolling, rolling racks that always, you know how they always topple and the wheels fall off and they're just, oh gosh, they're such a pain. But we have our jeans, our, <laughs> me, myself, and I the jean skirts, regular skirts and slacks. We have all of my camisole tops, my favorite tees, long sleeves, long sleeve sweaters, dresses. And then back here we have, still on a roller rack, my sweaters and cardigans. I also hung all of my belts. They were always on this thing. And then if I had to get to one in the back, I would have to take them off and they would go falling to the ground. It was always a hot mess. So now we've got Skinny belts, black belts, brown harnesses. But yeah, that's it. That's the whole upstairs. I thought it was kind of cool to show you guys like how I've repurposed everything from the boutique to this space up here and how I've made it all work. It's a lot. Like I said, it's almost like its own apartment up here, but it's my creative space. I'm home all the time now. Words cannot describe to you how relieved I am that I don't have to constantly feel a nag that I should be at the store. I mean, I know that like the days that the buildings closed were the only days that I didn't feel like I should be there. But whenever I had a bunch of dogs here, I felt like I should be there. Whenever I was there and I had dogs here, I felt like I should be here. So this just like never ending feeling of, of guilt was just looming all the time and that's gone so now I don't feel guilt I'm home when I'm home I'm home I'm just here I don't need to be doing anything else I can focus on what I need to hear and I feel so much better about that this is a huge learned lesson huge my whole adult life I thought that I wanted a brick and mortar thrift store slash just store in general and I might still again one day now that I can shelf that dream. The only thing that's weird is that that's what I put all of my energy into for a really long time <laughs> since I was like a teenager. And so now I'm kind of in a limbo. I don't really know what to daydream about. I don't really know what to focus my goals on. I actually feel this huge, I don't know if it's in my astrological charts or what's up for Pisces right now with the moons and the things and the Venus and the Uranus. I just feel like right now there is, this is the biggest career shift I've ever felt because I've not only let go of things that I know just don't serve me or, or stress me out or are too much. And I'm like really zeroed in on what I love, what makes me comfortable, what makes me feel good, what's hard work. Cause I can do some hard work. I don't mind putting in the hours. I don't mind editing for three days straight. But what I do mind is that when I feel pulled in 25 million different directions and I have been so overwhelmed and it hit me all at once. And it just, when it hit me, it hit me. And I was like, I cannot do this anymore. I'm willing to hustle, but in different ways. So anyway, I have been babbling for a very long time. This is gonna be a long video, I can tell, I can feel it. But I'm done for now. I'm gonna go sit on my computer in my new office. <laughs> Open up the curtains, cause it's a rainy day, enjoy that. 
sip on the rest of my coffee and uh maybe maybe at some point today we'll go to sephora we'll see outfit check all right just leaving sephora and that was pretty painless actually it was so slow i love it when sephora is slow like that because i can just peruse i put about that smells so good i put about 10 different fragrances on <laughs> i smell delicious you guys can't see me. Why is the lighting like this? Oh no. I thought I would showcase the backdrop of this amazing wallpaper and I dressed myself up like a starburst ornament and I've been sitting here taking ridiculous photos with these Dollar Tree Christmas trees. <laughs> it's really hard to make this look cool. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to show off the teeth chrome thing, which tastes terrible by the way. Oh, can't wait to get this off my teeth, but it is cool. It looks like a grill with glitter essentially. And it's like apparently safe for your mouth, but is it though? Because it doesn't taste like it. And then um, I use glue that I'm allergic to. So good times. drooling so much hello good morning it's the next day i'm gonna do this lip mask you know what it is that i really like about these little sephora masks they peel off these outer layers and then you've got this jelly thing and that's what the masks under the eye did and i really liked that let me tell you something <laughs> what's that from i know it's jim carrey Mm. I just, I needed something like this. I usually use the Fresh Tulip as my favorite one. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm kind of in love with all of these things that I'm getting from Sephora's uh, advent calendar. I have a headache still. There's something in my eye. I'm gonna go get our Christmas cards. And then we have to go switch out lighting at the store and it is my final goodbye at the store. I did post a uh, reel announcing everything this morning, but this is like my actual final goodbye because we're gonna switch lighting out and then I'm done, that's it. You guys, this is me yesterday. This is Ari Ariana Grande. Bitch stole my look. How dare, how dare she? Um, I'm joking. <laughs> Obviously. I feel like half the time when I'm being sarcastic, it's like falling flat. Like people think I'm serious, but I think it's probably because there are so many Karens out there that are being serious when they're being assholes. I'm joking. Christmas cards. Ta-da! Honestly, they did a way better job printing these last year. I still like it, but this might explain why I was having trouble getting it to print correctly on Canva. But still, they're cute, they work, it's a cute card, and done deal. We're smoking. All right, everlasting love. <laughs> yeah. Use your promo code and you'll get huge discounts. You'll get your humor there, eh? Including my Giza Dream bed sheets. For as low as $29.98. Everlasting love. That is funny. Hello and good morning. Welcome to the next day. It is Thursmas. It's Thursmas. And uh, is that annoying or funny? Because I think it's funny. I have been in my office all morning. You can hear my printer now. I don't know what's wrong with it. Something's wrong with my printer. Right now it's cleaning the cartridges, whatever that means. Is it working? Why is it blank? I got an Ipsy, not sponsored. But here's this month's Ipsy. If you have an Ipsy subscription, haven't received yours yet and you don't want spoilers, but I'm pretty sure these are all personalized so it shouldn't matter anyway. So we're gonna open this together. I only put on foundation and brows so far just in case there's anything in this that I can apply today, which perfect. I did not do my highlight, blush, or contour. And guess what this is? All three. Highlight, blush, and contour. I need to fix this nail. I'm very sad. Moving 
and nails do not mix. We've got the Stack the Odds Alley Oop Multi Face, Multi Use Face stacker. Are they magnetic? I like how I'm talking about it like I know. No, these ones twist. Okay, they're less like melt stacks where they're magnetic. These twist open. Ooh, cute. These would be so handy for travel. Cute. I really like the blush. It's like this peach tone. Ooh, I love this stuff. Truly is sold at uh, Ulta. Unicorn fruit whipped body butter. They have really clever stuff. I actually have their hemp oil right here. So I really like, I like their products. I also have their face, their neck and chest cream that I put, I did put on every night before bed. I should get back into doing that because it's so, like it's like a salve almost and it's so hydrating for the decollete. Ooh, mmm, nice. Feels very similar to the neck cream I had. Caviar Anti-Aging Moisture CC Cream. What? This is a full-size, huge-ass bottle. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, I love it when things smell good. Multi-benefit treatment. Moisture, shine, smoothness, smoothness softness, UV protection, anti-breakage, heat protect, light hold. Apply evenly to a clean towel. This is for your hair. <laughs> I was like, how is this a CC cream? It doesn't have any tint to it. I thought I was about to put this on my freaking face. That is really misleading. This is caviar alterna for your hair, leave-in conditioner, and also explains why the packaging is so big. I am such an idiot. Apply evenly to clean towel dried hair and style as desired. Can also be used as a finisher on dry hair. Ooh, cool, then I'm gonna do that. Cause I did just, um, if you haven't noticed, I'm going like very Seattle grunge hair. <laughs> trying to pay tri tribute to my hometown right now and yes isn't that wild that like I've lived in Seattle longer than anywhere else in my life isn't that wild even though I did spend like most of my high school childhood in Virginia I'm still not from there and that's not where I spent the majority of my life so weird ah, that smells so good Ah, I love that. This is the Kat Von D Locket Finishing Powder. That finishing powder I got last month. I didn't like it. It's too dark. And for being a finishing powder, I was expecting it to be brightening. And it was like making me look tan. Not my thing. And this is in the color light. It's my color. I like how they put a sticker on the top. So it's like, don't break the seal. But then the bottom doesn't have that. So you can easily just go through. The like, Love the packaging. It's that wax stamp seal that I love. I was just telling my husband last night about how I wanted to get one of those to send off our Christmas cards next year with the wax stamps. I think that'd be really neat. I've really been needing a finishing powder. I feel like I've really been needing one, especially to just carry in my purse to just touch up my face. Oh, that's the best one. That is the best one. I think there's only one thing left in here. Yep. This one comes in a little bag. Ooh, it's a Ciate product. Ciate has beautiful packaging. Ooh, the Glow 2 highlighter. Can you see that? Pretty. God, that's gorgeous. Such a gorgeous Christmassy highlight. It's icy. Oh, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go try all this stuff on and then I'll go downstairs in like natural light and show you how it all looks. As you can see, my life is still a bit of a disheveled mess, but I don't have time for this. I'm going to be doing a lot of organizing probably over the weekend. So one thing at a time, one thing at a time. A lot of this stuff has to go to the garage and that's where we need to focus our reorganization, like hardcore. So we'll get there. So pardon this mess as I'm wearing a cute outfit. This is the pink Christmassy sweater. I attribute this to being a Christmassy sweater because to me it looks like an ornament. It's got all these pearly details and embroidery on the top. It's just really cool and it's vintage and I love it. And I wear it, I think, like once every Christmas season and then I put it back till next year. I'm wearing it with some green pants that I got from Fashion Over. They're high waisted. I've had these for years. I wear them all the time. And then I've got this thrifted green purse with it and my Louboutins with some socks. And <laughs> I have on my lips is the Melted Matte by Too Faced Cinnamon Buns. That's what I have on my lips. 
and then oh and i saw so i did the makeup i have on the bronzer and the blush you guys know i just bought a cream blush and bronzer so obviously those are my chosen favorites which is the nars one and the anastasia one but this uh is a nice pop of peach on the cheek for when I want more color because that one from Anastasia, oh my god. My dryer, <laughs> my dryer has the worst sound ever. <laughs> oh, it's awful. But anyway, um, I am <laughs> wearing the bronzer and blush and then I have on the Locket finishing powder, which I know I'm gonna love, I can already tell. And uh, what else did I use? What else did I get? <laughs> I forgot. Ella Maya Agada. <laughs> this smoothie. Um. That is the best. Oh my god, that is so good. The Cranberry Apple Crisp Smoothie at Gather. If you are anywhere near here, get yourself Cranberry Apple Crisp freaking Smoothie. That is so festive, it tastes like pie, it's delicious. The apple, there's just the right amount of apple in it. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. It's expensive, a uh, $14 smoothie, worth every penny. Mm. God dang, that's good. Okay, I am at BevMo. I'm gonna go see if they have any good NA style whiskeys. There's a girl I follow, her name is Zero Proof Girl on Instagram, and she takes the most beautiful non-alcoholic cocktail photography photos and makes the most amazing concoctions of non-alcoholic um, beverages I don't know she's gonna she's gonna blow up like she's gonna be a big Instagram account she's still pretty small right now but I just see her account going crazy because everything is gorgeous um, that she posts and I'm always like yum I want everything that she posts and it's weird I'm more excited about non-alcoholic cocktail mixtures than I was when I drank when I drank I just drank the same thing gin and tonics or wine but now that I'm like in a I'm into it. There's a girl in the car next to me. I'm so embarrassed. I just realized. Uh, anyway, <laughs> she ain't paying attention to me. Let's go try a non-alcoholic drink that she recommended, and it's with the eggnog from Trader Joe's with... I'll have to look at the recipe. Here it is. Whiskey. Zero proof. Alternative. And then I got lactose-free eggnog. They did not have oat milk. Could not find one. So I'm making a drink. I'm doing an eggnog drink and Lyle is doing a whiskey ginger. I also just grabbed him these because <laughs> how cute is that? They've got Santa on them. I wonder if the holiday brew is different. Do you think it tastes different? It says Claus Holler holiday brew. Ooh, it's got cranberry and cinnamon in it. Oh my God, this t it freaking smells like whiskey. That is cool. I wanna see your reaction. Tastes like whiskey? I haven't done this in a while. Tastes like whiskey eggnog. That is so festive. It's missing a kick, obviously. Maybe a little bit more cinnamon. <laughs> Give it a kick. But man, cheers. That is a delicious festive drink. Making a list, kind of in a panic. 
don't know if I have time to get it all done. I am freaking out before Christmas. Is that a good song? Is that a good song? Do you like that? Do you like that? I think I am done though with most of the Christmas shopping stuff that needs to go in the mail, basically. Speaking of which, email mother Christmas card. If my refrigerator isn't cleaned out before Christmas dinner, I feel a panic. So I need to do that at some point. I need to next week get our Christmas dinner, which I'm gonna be making us just like filet mignon, potatoes, asparagus, that kind of thing. So I need to make lists of what to bring and what to get. But tonight we also were thinking of just hitting up some of the shops to uh, get some of the little gifts and things to give to his family. So we should be doing that tonight. That's why I've gotten a little bit dressed up. I just felt like it, honestly. I just felt like looking cute. And I'm about to shoot a reel for some of the gifts that I have in mind that people could shop through my web shop. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and do some editing and I wanna make a reel with some Christmassy content. So I'm gonna work on conceptualizing that, get this day going. I already have my second cup of coffee. I've had a cinnamon muffin. I'm gonna go have some lunch here in a bit. And we're just moving and shaking. Having this office up here has made such a huge difference in my productivity and just knowing when to shut off. To me, I know when I've cleared my schedule enough and given myself time to like really relax is when I have time to game. Because all I ever think about, I can't even tell you how many times I'll be doing something and I'll get this feeling, I really wanna play Zelda right now, or I really wanna play Last of Us right now, or I really want, you know what I mean? So I just get these like overwhelming feelings like I wanna game because it just relaxes me. It's so relaxing to play video games. And if I'm not able to play a video game, my schedule is too busy and I need to change that. So I need to make time to game. <laughs> priorities, people, priorities. That's what I do for fun. Here is my little uh, gift basket I've put together. This has just some really lovely stuff in it. If you live in the area anywhere near Seattle and want me to take it to somebody, I can box it up and wrap it up and put a bow on it with a little card and deliver it to them for Christmas. I'm gonna have to tally up how much all of this would cost collectively because some of it is, you know, stuff with another brand. So I have to make sure I'm charging her rates for her stuff, rates. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, but, you know, I can toss in a few freebies like this and the chapstick. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make these um, as affordable as I possibly can. And, yeah, they're really cute. I have the cashmere sweater in here. It's so soft. Oh, my God. I just want to, like, wrap myself up inside of this sweater. It's the softest. It's a size small, little cashmere cardigan. Mascara, we've got the Pure Anata eyeshadow palette with two eyeshadows inside. The tea that says Joy, because Joy obviously sounds Christmassy. We've got Sage. I don't know if you guys, if I ever told you about this, but I carry the Slate Apothecary lip balm in my store. It's peppermint. And this is the best chapstick I've ever used in my life. It's so hydrating and so good. Oh my God. And it's got just the right amount of peppermint in it to really make it feel like it's relieving your lips of any sort of dryness. It's just, it's too good. Gina really came up with a good formula there for some chapsticks. And uh, Slate Apothecary also soap. This is the Squatch Crotch Soap that we collaborated on. And it's so good. It's like a green color. It's like a green foresty kind of fragranced soap. And then the West Coast Willow Skin Care Candle is also in there. And these are the candles that are Reiki charged for those of you who are into energy. Good energy, good vibes. And they also have crystals in them. And this smells. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh. That is so relaxing. Light that candle in January and just cleanse your home. You know what I mean? And you can also do some cleansing with some sage. So yeah, some really good stuff in this little gift basket. So let anybody you know 
that these are available if you live in the area. All right, well, I just talked to the hubs. He is on his way home and it is confirmed. We are going to go final Christmas shopping for family this afternoon. It's 1.25 and the sun doesn't set for another few hours. Like they did do Christmas lights, but they just did like a green exterior light. We thought we would end our little Christmas uh, shopping with driving through the nice neighborhoods. I think the front porch dad just did a this exact. I haven't watched it yet. Is it funny? Wow, look at that house. Can you imagine the electric bill? But I guess they don't mind. When he says you gotta drive through the nice neighborhoods. <laughs> look at all the Christmas lights. Welcome to the next day. It is Saturday. It is no makeup Saturday because I am going to be editing this video and that's really all I've got on the agenda on this lovely relaxing Saturday. My husband is at work today. He picked up extra work because we have Christmas off next week and uh, yeah, I have dogs coming to Dachshunds and uh, tomorrow we are going to his sister's. We have a family dinner, so it'll be our nephew, sisters, his dad and wife and uh, all of us just hanging out, having some food and I'm gonna bring some of my non-alcoholic eggnog. I'm, I think I'm just gonna pre-make it and bring it along and then I'm also bringing like a side dish or two and a pie. But yeah, I thought I would just pop on and close this out. We had such a great time. Honestly, yesterday that was so nice. May I recommend at least once every holiday season if you have the time to hit a little town area that has a lot of Christmas decor up and restaurants just bustling with people having dinner and the Christmas lights. And we got there when it was still daylight, so I got like a really cute photo. Uh, in front of this poinsettia or poinsettia display this restaurant had and then we went to the pet market and got stuff for the dog stockings and one last gift for the dogs we got lovely little things bits and pieces to bring for his family we got a present for my nephew we got it all from the little shops right there so that was just really special we went and got mochaccinos we kept running into people with really cute dogs and stopping and talking to them about dogs we saw a shih tzu and we both oh my god when we saw it because it was the cutest shih tzu she had him under her arm and he was just wiggling so much when he saw us and then we were like going into the coffee shop so i was going up to order i turn around and look and my husband is going through his phone showing this woman photos of our dogs <laughs> he's that guy like he'll be like oh look at my shih tzus and we'll show you every photo he has of our dogs let me show you something I'm gonna show you everything we got for his family just because that's I feel like that's personal even for the gift receiver it's like this is your gift I don't want to show it to everybody but something they had at one of the stores up there is this it's reindeer crunch popcorn salted caramel popcorn with walnuts pecans cashews and craft dark chocolate Christmas Day is on Sunday golly look at the Shih Tzu <laughs> uh, so it is, yeah, it's our final Christmas week of Vlogmas next week. Do we want to do like a bonus Vlogmas for New Year's Eve? Probably less days a week though. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.